thinking touchdown or field goal first. I'm thinking touchdown. take Aaron Rodgers. San Francisco has the first pick. They need a quarterback. Even though all the conversation was about the choice between the two guys, to me it was never much of a choice. I, I absolutely thought the 49ers would take Aaron Rodgers. Welcome to the uh, Jacob Javits Convention Center in New York City and to the 2005 National Football League College Draft. Number one pick, 2005 draft. The commissioner has the card. With the uh, first selection in the 2005 NFL draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Alex Smith, quarterback, Utah. I asked him straight up what they were going to do, and then he said, I think we're going to pick you, which I never forgot. I dreamt about being the quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers. So you can imagine my disappointment in 2005 when they decided to, uh, to go a different direction. Rogers was about to endure a nightmare. How far he drops is going to be the storyline of the day, but somebody's going to get themselves a fine, solid starting quarterback. Ask each one of you guys, where does Aaron Rodgers get picked? You know, we, we have this genre of reality TV. I mean, the draft was really one of the first instances of reality television, and, and that's as real as it gets to see a guy have his dreams being squashed in front of you, in front of the entire country. Aaron Rodgers, quarterback, Cal, continues to wait. He keeps getting passed on and passed on. On the inside, there was a lot of disappointment, uh, embarrassment, just thinking about you know the hard work I put in, the disappointment of it not paying off in my mind at the time, as I saw you know teams passing on me that I know I'd talked to and thought were interested, and players drafted who I felt like I was better than. With the 24th selection in the 2005 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Aaron Rodgers, quarterback. How in the world does Aaron Rodgers uh, and, uh, drop that far? Teams either didn't need a quarterback, didn't have cap space for a quarterback, or had head coaches whose jobs were on the line and probably didn't want a rookie quarterback. Uh, it wasn't the easiest day, but uh, yeah, it was a long day. Uh, not a lot of things went the way we thought they'd go, but uh, I'm just so excited about being able to go to a team that wants me and a team that I can learn from the greatest quarterback of our day right now. And the Packers proudly step to the podium and take the successor to Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers. Welcome to Lambeau Field in Green Bay for the NFC Championship. 
championship game between the New York Giants and the Green Bay Packers. The winner tonight gets the undefeated New England Patriots in Glendale, Arizona in Super Bowl 42. No better spot than Lambeau Field for an NFC championship game. It's five time. There comes the rest. How many postseason games ended where Brett Favre made an ill-advised across the body, across the field pass that he shouldn't have made. What the fuck? Lawrence Tides has kicked the Giants to the Super Bowl. You know, I never felt threatened my job, although I knew that at some point, I would not be the starter in Green Bay. I knew that. Favre retired, but soon changed his mind and all but demanded his job back. The Packers, to the dismay of Favre and many of their fans, stood firm with Rodgers. I was the guy caught in the middle of a struggle, and it was out of my control. Like a knife in your back, you know, it's hard to take. You know, if any other team, we we're fine with the Jets, but not the Vikings. Hard to swallow. Green Bay fans are really angry. I mean, really angry. The build up and all the hype. November the 1st is finally here. It's Brett Favre's return to Lambeau Field. I wanted to play for anyone who would play the Packers. Minnesota played them twice. Rodgers able to get his hands on it, and then throws the Well, this is it, Rock, the season. Right here on this fourth down play. How many times have we said that on this drive? Packers need at least seven yards to move the chains. Rodgers gets the snap. Blitz is on. Rodgers scrambles He's left, winds up right behind. He's got time to the 10, to the yes. five, to the end zone. Touchdown, and a dagger. Championship dagger of 47 yards. This place is pumped up. Down to the field we go. Here's Pam Oliver with Charles Woodson. Is Brett the nicest big brother to him? No, because Brett's Brett. You know, like he wants to play, and this is his job, and he, he thought he was going to play until he was 50. He That's tried. Turning kicks. And he's blocking in front of him. He gets across the 20, and not much more after the 20. Here they come. Missing on a blitz was William Moore, and the pass complete. James Jones down the sideline. Now a four-man rush. Rodgers for James Jones. Jones foot for it. Touchdown. What a catch. He was so great, so soon, so quick. Rodgers has time to survey the whole field, and now he'll run into the end zone. No signal yet. Touchdown. What we saw every game was electric. We, it it was electric. You, you, you can't sit here. Playoff. You can't sit here and tell me. The ball pops out. That's a catch and a fumble. And this could be the fourth turnover and second fumble of this game by Atlanta. It's Green Bay's football again. Falcons will get out of here. And so are the Green Bay Packers. They are in the NFC Championship game with a 27-point road victory behind Aaron Rodgers. Dealt with the crowd noise. Dealt with the Falcons' defense. Matt Ryan keeps his helmet on as he heads off the field. He had a rough first half. There's no reason to defend Brett. I mean, honestly, you can flip the coin, but you asked me to pick. Right. I'm picking. I'm picking there. Gold will kick it away. Who's going to the Super Bowl from the NFC? Good directional kick. Stark stumbled at the start, and now down he goes. Try and start with a throw. Rodgers hands a man Jennings and just where he left off against Atlanta. That's why I say the Bears have got to do something to rattle him. Play action, and that's Jordy Nelson. They fake it to Cohen, and Rodgers will take it to the edge. Touchdown, and what an impressive
offensive start to this game for the Packers. And now here comes another fourth down. Haney over the middle, picked off by Shields. And Shields takes it the other way. The Green Bay Packers are going to ride to the Super Bowl on that. Trying to force it to Johnny Knox, and Sam Shields picks it off. And the winner of the George S. Hallis Trophy, the Green Bay Packers, the first number six seed from the NFC to make it to the Super Bowl. My contract doesn't say I have to get Aaron Rodgers ready to play. Now, hopefully he watches me and, and gets something from that. I'm sure there was some, some feelings of uh, frustration that they, that they picked his potential successor in the first round. What if, <laughs> if you had a game to pick for your life that you weren't playing in, that, that it was just either Aaron Rodgers or Brett Favre to win that game without Greg Jennings? Who would you pick? I don't know him or anyone else, anything. Third and one, Rodgers play action, looks to the end zone, rainbows, Jordy Nelson. Touchdown, Aaron Rodgers to Jordy Nelson. I'm more of a show me the evidence. If you're gonna tell me you're great, I gotta see you're great. Stats, Super Bowls, rings. To throw a the short. Here's it on deep, left side corner. Picked off, Nick Collins. Nick Collins on the return inside the 10, leaps for the touchdown! Come on now. Come on now. Show me the evidence. You gotta give me something. Stats? No, Breeze has those. Trophies? No, Tom has those. You gotta show me something. I don't have to give him any insights to what I do or don't do. Approaching the two-minute warning here in Arlington over the middle. Caught. Touchdown, Greg Jennings. Roethlisberger over the middle finds Hines Ward, and he sets up a first and goal from the eight. Back in the end zone, Ward, touchdown. Here's the qualities they never say make a great leader. Aloof, condescending, arrogant, difficult to work with. You have to catch the football in the Super Bowl. The Steelers cut the lead to four as the fourth quarter began. Nowhere does it say that you have to take that guy under your wing. There are some that would say, well, I, yeah, well I, you're, I, you're I the legend, the face of the franchise. Oh, oh, my God. What a conversion. Maybe the biggest of the season. Ike Taylor's coverage on the play, not bad. But Aaron Rodgers, pinpoint accuracy, doing it again. My best throw this week. Incredible, incredible. You put any, anybody in that corner, in the number three, run them corner, oh, wide open. They can't go. Rogers throws right side of the end zone. Wide open. You know who's played the position at a higher level than anybody else? Aaron Rodgers. Blitz again. Floating for Wallace. What a throw! Touchdown, Pittsburgh. In this season defensively. Roethlisberger on a pitch. It was Green Bay 28, Pittsburgh 25. Blitz coming, Palomalu slips, floated, Jordy Nelson incomplete. And it is fourth down with 2.10 to go. Roethlisberger finds Heath Miller. The tight end out across the 25 for 15 yards. Third down and five. This one incomplete, it's fourth down. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. One more time, D. Come on, baby. Fourth down and five. And he hope of a comeback rests with his play. It's 
fourth down, and this Super Bowl comes down to one play. Rodgers, three years after taking over for Brett Favre, does what Brett Favre never did do, and that is win the Super Bowl MVP. How do people, I think, treat you different now that you're a Super Bowl champion and a Super Bowl MVP? Well, right or wrong, I think uh, it just gave me, uh, my game, some legitimacy. And, and, you know, it's funny to think if we had lost, you know, would I, would I not be considered an elite quarterback or would I still be... Uh, in the shadow of a former quarterback that played here. I'm just thankful we won that game. Say it with me, man. He's, He's a, a bad man. man. 77 regular season meetings going back to 1921 plus one postseason encounter in the 40s. The Bears 98 and 6. Well, for Aaron Rodgers, all the comparisons to Brett Favre, he'll never get away from him. He admitted that. But you have to remember that Aaron Rodgers has already had as many losing seasons as Brett Favre had in his career here in Green Bay. You have to win games. Quarterbacks, it's not about numbers, it's not about statistics, it's about winning games. And now it is on him to win this one. And it has to be right up the gut with a guy that's not typically in the game in this situation. Let's score again. Rodgers stepping away, he's going to run, he's going to slide to a hole, looks around for a flag, doesn't get it, Manning is there along with Briggs, and he's going to be a yard shy of the first down. Third down and one, from the 50. Stakes to Graham, Rodgers going deep, he's got a man up and it's Jennings, touchdown Packers! Rodgers, his numbers are so knock you back in your seat. To the end zone, and a catch made in traffic. <laughs> Devontae Adams. Is He's the highest quarterback rating ever. By an enormous margin. Yes. Rodgers steps away, in trouble, throws as he's hit. And it is a caught. It is. Touchdown. Rodgers, last time. Now some pressure. Throws it deep. Jordy Nelson. He's got it. Inside the 20! A bomb from Rodgers to Nelson! On second and goal. All day for Rodgers. Slings it. End zone. Touchdown. Driver's got his second of the day. Pass is caught for the touchdown. Knicks. But if you're asking me right now, what quarterback have I seen play the position better than anyone else? It's Aaron Rodgers. Every day of the week, it's Aaron Rodgers. You will bound to open for me! Out in front of Jordy Nelson. And the pass is caught and in two plays. I have not seen the Green Bay Packers lose a game, and one time have I looked at him and said, that's one Aaron Rodgers. Have, can you think of any game since 2009? Or that they won and it wasn't good yeah. enough. Rodgers got away from Bierman. Throws on the run. Touchdown, Nelson. Aaron Rodgers at the 40. No timeouts. Everyone out. Rodgers in trouble. And they got him. Cameron Wake and Olivier Vernon. Rodgers gets time. He throws. He fights Jordy Nelson. And Nelson stepped out of bounds at the 30-yard line. But it's a first down for the Packers. Rodgers being rushed. Got rid of it to James Starks. He's got the first down. Everybody out. Outside the catch made, but the clock continues to run. The catch by Randall Cobb down at the 15. Now you got to get the spike to at least give yourself an opportunity to get to that end zone. Rodgers not. Here's, here comes the spike. The no. big spike. He throws to Adams. 
and Devontae Adams is pulled out of bounds at the four-yard line. How about that? In the home of Dan Marino, he pulls the Marino. Showing pressure. They pick it up. The pass touchdown. Andrew Corrals, the tight end. With three seconds left. Since he became a full-time starter, he's had three years with a quarterback rating around 93. Every other year, it's over 100. It's just, he's never been bad. They're going to air it out. Rodgers does this better than anybody. End zone! Come! Touchdown! Unbelievable! that better than Aaron Rodgers. Untimed play. Packers are trailing 23-21. Obviously, this is an all or nothing. Aaron Rodgers alone in the shotgun. Rodgers in trouble. It's going to get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in it? Start of a historic season for the Green Bay Packers. Another third long. Now it's Vic Fangio's time to get a little creative. Third and nine. Four man rush. Look out, down he goes at the 25 yard line. Roy Robertson Harris, number 95, with the sack. And that is a sight that has everybody's heart stopping at Lambeau Field. Mm. Rogers unable to get up. Oh my goodness. Here he may have grabbed his left knee. Wow, a hush over Lambeau Field. Take a look at this. This just happened. Rodgers came out of the tent, and that's about as bad a sight as any Packer fan can see. Four wide here on third and goal. The pump fake, and this time he will get sacked, lose the ball, and Mack took the ball away. Khalil Mack. Third and 19. And this time he's going to go down. It's going to be picked off by Mack. Mack with the interception. And Mack will take it all the way in for a touchdown. How crazy was that? Robertson Harris extracted the ball. 28 yards. And Khalil Mack is already the defensive MVP of the season. Yards, Cody Parkey. The right upright. Did some tests, felt like uh, you know, I couldn't further injure it at the time. Doc and I agreed I could go back and play. Here comes Rodgers. Who could have ever figured this about an hour ago? Now, this place begins to wake up. Yeah, when I got the ovation at that point, I said we might as well win this thing. When's the last time you saw a guy leave in a cart and come back into the game? 14 to go in the third. Chicago 20, Green Bay number. We're going to watch him play, play too. Rodgers hangs in there, throws. That's caught. That's Randall Cobb. 
for a first down. And an extra field on and off late, but they couldn't get it off in time. Just got off. This game was only about a half hour old, and Aaron Rodgers already called it one of his greatest memories ever. One-on-one -on -one coverage. With the Green Bay Packers, they have shown you that without Aaron Rodgers, they are throwing to the end zone. Oh, yes! And it is pulled in. Touchdown, Geronimo Allison. He beats Kyle Fuller, 39 yards touchdown. He's a bad man. He can't even stand on this left leg. And he is making play after play after play. And second down and 10. That pass is caught and getting away as Devontae Adams inside the 40. And they'll finally take him down to the 23-yard line. Amul Kamara takes him down. Steps up, shoots it to Devontae Adams, and Adams dives for the end zone touchdown. Third and seven, Trubisky fires, and that will be caught at the 40-yard line, and forward progress will give Miller, the rookie out of Memphis, a first down for Chicago. Give Aaron Rodgers a chance. 32-yarder by Parkey. It's that one through with 239. Oh, and it's almost intercepted, and that would have done it. You know, playing behind Brett Favre um, for three years, you realize um, you have a tough to play his position. Surveying, fires, that's caught. Randall Cobb into Chicago territory. Randall Cobb inside the 20 yard line. of Green Bay Packer football. It's the largest fourth quarter deficit they have ever overcome. He's a bad man. Man.